What is up? Phil here doing a private react video for a patron. And I suspect that this video uh, may get <laughs> a lot more attention than just the person who paid for it to be made. Let's put it that way. I'm about to react to two videos about a certain person who has decided over the last, you know, seven or eight years, if not longer, to interject himself into my life, into my business, into my content by constantly bringing me up in his own content on YouTube. His name is Rich, but he goes by Review Tech USA. All right. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk about this guy at length. What I'm going to do is watch the videos, two particular videos that have been made about this guy that apparently are very critical about him. Um, and I'm going to try to do my best to judge them fairly. What I mean by that is I have no preconceived notions about what we're about to watch. I don't even know what's in these videos. I've never seen them before. Um, and I, as you know, am someone who is very, very frequently attacked, uh, stalked, harassed on the internet. There's insane amounts of slanderous and defamatory material about me on YouTube. Um, yet I still am able to operate a pretty normal business and have a good time with a dedicated viewer base every day. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, despite the fact that there's so much negative slander about me on YouTube. Rich is one of the people who perpetrates that. Recently, in the last year, he's decided to watch very negative things about me and basically kind of entertain it with his fan base because he doesn't care about who he hurts or, you know, what he says or does on his streams as long as he gets popular off of it and makes a buck. So, he's that kind of guy, all right? I've avoided that kind of crap because I feel like I'm better than that. I can do more positive content. But in this case, someone has actually paid me to react to these two particular videos. But I want you to understand something before I get started. I'm going to watch them, and I'm going to react as honestly as I can, telling you again, I don't know the situations. I've never seen these videos before, all right? But I'm going to take them with a grain of salt. What does that mean? I know for a fact that there's a ridiculous amount of negative shit about me on the internet. It's just not true. Maybe it's based on a little, I like to call it a nugget of true. A little piece of information that's true that's then extrapolated upon to ad infinitum. Bullshit added on bullshit, lie and, and, and exaggeration on top of another lie and exaggeration to the point where this little nugget of truth that it started becomes this insanely huge, overblown, nonsensical, just bullshit story, a conspiracy, a lie about me, all right? With that being said about me, I totally believe this happens to other people. So I'm going to watch this and I'm going to see these two videos that I've been basically paid to watch. I'm going to watch them. And I'm going to see exactly what this kind of stuff is that's said about Review Tech. And I'm going to see, from my perspective, what I think about it. I'm going to let you know what I think. All right? If you think that's hypocritical, I mean, only five zillion people have done it to fucking me before. Uh, I'm going to try to approach this from an intelligent standpoint. All right. Review Tech USA hypocrisy is unreal. He gets called out by fans. Interestingly enough, this video was uploaded on Christmas Day, 2021. I review China USA. Here we go. Hey everybody, I'm not going to wait for too long. I'm, I'm streaming in the middle of a holiday. <laughs> on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. Huh? So, what's up, man? I got I got some some shit in store for you. We're going to watch the DSP worst moments. What? Worst moments of 2021. Wait, wait, he actually watched the worst moments of me on Christmas Eve. This was his Christmas special was to watch a defamatory video about me. Wow, you're a creative dude, Rich. You're really creative. This is what you do on fucking Christmas Eve with your viewers. You defame Dark Side Phil. Congrats. I meant to get it up. You're morally fucking bankrupt. <clears throat> uh <laughs> Why did someone re-upload his video when his first video wasn't taken down? Wait, did he take it down? He looks like he's about to cry. What's wrong with his eyes? Wait, if he took this down, I won't be able to watch it. Where is the DSP worst moments of 2021? If he took this down, I can't watch it. Because if I watch it, then he's going to come after me. Which I don't really know how... Yeah. Me? No, he took it down. I didn't. 
He took it down. Me? No, I didn't. I didn't take shit down. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. So, let me get this straight. I just want to make sure I'm understanding this. He was going to watch the defamatory video that this guy puts out about me every year. That's 90% bullshit. It's basically take those nuggets of truth, extrapolate them to every controversial piece of bullshit, right? And propagate every conspiracy theory about me. This guy does it every year. This is the same guy who did a whole thing about that escort saga years ago. And when it was proved to be fake, never did an addendum, never said, oh, I was wrong and deleted it. Instead, insulted my now wife. Okay? That's what he did with it. So that's a really high quality, trustworthy guy. This is the video he was going to watch on Christmas Eve. Apparently the video got taken down and Rich was going to watch this. Oh, well, this is the re-upload. I don't want to get my video taken down, so I'm not going to watch it. But he says, I took it down. I didn't take it down. I don't take down shit, all right? Allow me to clarify yet again for the millionth time. I don't take down shit. I don't give anyone copyright strikes. I don't give a takedown, you know, no content ID map, nothing. I know this guy exists, this fucking secret limited loser, where the fuck this idiot is. I have nothing to do with him. I don't watch his content, nothing. I don't take it down, nothing. I, I did not do that. So, this is hilarious. So, not only is he going to watch a defamatory video about me on his stream for Christmas Eve, this is his Christmas Eve special, uh, then he says, oh, well, you know, Phil took it down, so now I can't watch it. So, wow, what a great guy. Anyway, did you watch Archie USA is a Hypocrite by Latina Parfait? He makes some interesting criticisms against you. <clears throat> and by the way, he uses the default animations... For stream elements, or is it stream labs? That's the default. He never set up something better than the default, even though he has a million subs. Interesting. RT USA is a hip. No, I'm not watching a video from a channel that's looking to get off the ground and giving it a whole bunch of exposure. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose, man, or not. Ah, you've reformatted your channel. Good for you. I don't do shit like that. That, that's just, that's like the equivalent of Wings going into a troll discord about himself. What are we getting in? I'm going to the lion's den. <laughs> that's you know what going I'm into the lion's den. That's no different. This is the first time I've ever seen Rich's setup. So he's got two monitors behind him for seemingly no reason. Like, why are they there? They serve no purpose. I know when he talks about me, it's the stupid O face from 2016, but like they do absolutely nothing. Like, what's the point of that? He's pretending like he's in a newsroom or something with a blue screen behind him, but he has no blue, he has no green screen. Instead, he has two monitors there, and they're weird because they oddly reflect the lighting he has set up in the room, so they look like shit. Um, he's got a fucking lamp. <laughs> he's got a lamp in the corner that's obviously like a bedroom lamp. I mean, listen, I've got bad lighting, too. But my bad lamp is over there. It's not in frame of my, of my shot. This is pretty funny. And then he's got those, those blue backlights, which literally everyone who pretends like they're a streamer or a content creator has to have some kind of a fancy background, neon backlight or fancy bullshit. You know, look, what you see with me is what you get. A shitty background, right? There's some nice trinkets there, some cool decorations, but I'm not aspiring to pretend like I'm some kind of a professional studio level quality guy i'm a 40 year old guy who films out of a spare bedroom in his house rich is is like trying to pretend like that setup looks good it does not just being honest i think it looks like shit um i think the bedroom lamp is hilarious but uh then again you know my my setup is also not good either so i guess i'm kind of being hypocritical there but whatever you wanted me to be honest right <clears throat> yeah you too Owen. you know that's a, I'm gonna go and his wife is his wife was a hundred wings wife was 110 percent wings please don't do it going in there isn't gonna do anything please it's an all no I gotta do it ban anybody who says ban my own fucking wife please I know it's not gonna do anything but not doing anything is not gonna do anything either look here look listen <laughs> so he literally has a soundboard of, of obnoxious sounds he plays constantly like I have that too I have this uh like this. <laughs> But mine is very quick and it's stupid. It's a piece of shit. Everyone knows. I've used this over the years. It's not anything, like, intrusive. Like, he's literally playing applause like he thinks he's a television host, too. I'm, I'm serious. This is the first time I've ever seen anything of him. So, this is all news to me. 
Your wife is right. Listen to your wife, please. She's 210% correct, bro. 210% correct, dude. Oh. <laughs> I should have screened the video before I watched it. If he sucks a cucumber in this, I might have to turn it off and not finish watching it. All right? I don't know if I can do it. You know? But, Jesus fucking Christ. This is disgusting. And embarrassing for all of us as content creators out there. This is pretty embarrassing. Um, <laughs> this man has one million... I have to tell myself this man has one million subscribers on YouTube. I have to say that out loud and like let it resonate in my brain. There's 1 million people on this planet who actively went to his channel and clicked the subscribe button for this. Okay. Yeah, you're a kid with watching DSP and Wings videos that are critical of them, but watching videos against you is off limits. Yeah, isn't that kind of funny? <clears throat> John, you're... When I'm watching a video about me that I know someone's taking out of context, it's a little bit different than watching a video where it's a compilation of DSP. How? You're watching a compilation of DSP that's taken out of context. Or you're watching the compilation that also adds hyperbole and, 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 and exaggeration. You know, the video that he was going to watch, the secret limited thing from 2021, is not just me. It's a bunch of other assumptions and, and things thrown in to pose a narrative that's not true. Again, based on a nugget of truth. You can't deny that the original video is true that's taken right from my stream. But the, the whole context of it is lost. Or added context is added to make it be something it's not. So he's basically saying just because it exists on the internet, it must be real, you know, because it's really a compilation of DSP. Wrong. Wrong, Rich. Wrong. It, can't, it doesn't mean it's real. It means that someone has an agenda. How you don't understand that and you have a million subs and you've been around as long as you have is pretty baffling that you're that stupid. And a lot of times it's just literally clips of him without it being edited. And? You're telling me to watch someone saying a whole bunch of stupid shit that you're going to tell me to sit here and defend my honor. That, that's different. Someone having a video with no commentary over it, just with clips, is totally different than someone saying, hey, Rich, you're an asshole, here's why. And now you have to sit here and refute everything. So then people could have a whole other gotcha moment and clip those to try to take them out of context. But you just gave them a gotcha moment because you just said you would not do it, but you'll watch. What they're t Rich, what you're telling you here is this, okay? You can't sit on the internet and criticize others actively every day and make a living doing it and make bank doing it because if you played that secret limited video you would have made but this was your christmas eve special this would have been you making bank on christmas eve on my misery all right you can't do that and then say you're not going to do it for yourself you just can't me personally i don't want to address five million hater videos about myself every day i don't want to do that so do i sit and watch five million hater videos about everyone else on the internet no i do not I don't want, you know, that would be, the, again, you're right. That's like the pot calling the kettle black. That's like throwing stones from your glass house. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't do that. So you are a hypocrite. You are gr a grade A hypocrite. Oh, well, it's a clip. That's just a plain clip. There's nothing there being said. It doesn't matter. You could take any clip out of context and make someone look like an asshole. I could probably watch one stream of yours, take 10 clips out of context, make you look like an asshole. It's easy to do. This is hack work. This is not, oh my God, you know, <clears throat> mad scientist level, NASA level fucking quality stuff. This is easy lowbrow shit to do. And the fact that you think that, like, it's, it's, you're, I just, how do you not understand that you're a fucking hypocrite? How do you not understand that what you do is harmful to others and you're a goddamn hypocrite? I just don't understand that. You know, I just don't get it. Nice try, but it's not going to work. Um, you know what I mean? Totally different. And you know it too. It's not totally different at all, you fucking idiot. So, as a matter of fact... <clears throat> it's totally different because you're the subject matter and not everyone else who you make fun of and, and make a living doing so. That's why it's different. That's exactly why it's fucking different. <laughs> Here. Hate doing it, but I have a feeling you're not going to... Uh...
Jesus Christ, who knitted this guy's sweater? You're not going to stop, so. He banned him. <laughs> he banned you know, him. It, it's a bit different. You know it's different. I'm not going to try to explain it to you. If I have to, and you really don't understand it, you're not bright. Yeah, I didn't see. Who timed out Raul? The, the thing is, he could have easily just banned him and said nothing. Just ignored it. He addressed it. And, and made it a point of contention on his stream. He could have just been like, oh, I don't want to address this. Fuck this and ban the guy, you know? The other guy here who was trying to get me to watch videos to have me sit here and defend my honor. Yeah, no. Your yeah. honor. You're, you have no honor. You have no shirt on, you fucking idiot. It was a <laughs> nice honor. to make it seem like I'm being hypocritical watching like... Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure before she passed, the Queen of England came to your house and knighted you as you were sucking cucumbers, kissing cocks. And, you know, taking your shirt off. A compilation of DSP and your wings honor. or whoever. Oh, my God. He said his honor. But it's still totally different. <laughs> You're honor. having me sit here talk about allegations and refuting them. Whereas I'm sitting there watching, I don't know, DSP talk about how he needs money and he needs Super Chat. Or he can't. He doesn't want Super Chats. He wants Streamlabs. Can't compare the fucking two of them. Look here. Look. Yeah. And what's, again, what's wrong with that? So there's a difference between... Someone having accusations of you doing things wrong or you saying that me saying, hey, today I really could help having a contribution type of a certain type because, you know, something's coming up, you know, this. Yeah, sorry, Rich, that we're not all in the same life situation. OK, sorry that I don't make as much money as you. And literally, I live week to week for some weeks where I actually have to raise a certain amount of money to actually just pay my fucking bills and make ends meet. I'm not lucky enough to have a million subs for looking like a jackass on the fucking internet every day. I am offended at that comment because essentially what he's saying is me asking my viewers for a certain kind of contribution is wrong, but him reacting to people saying you're doing something wrong is, is oh my God, I would never do, I, I, I'm above that, you know? Are you out of your fucking mind? No, really. Like, you're literally in this clip, you're saying, oh, so I'm just, you know, I'm better than everyone else because I make so much money and shit, I don't have to worry about having to ask my viewers for help today or another day or anything like that. It's completely wrong to do that. So, you know, because you're lucky enough to be making the big bank you do, doing the insanely stupid shit, de de degrading yourself on the internet, embarrassing yourself and embarrassing every other content creator who makes a living doing this by bringing yourself down to this level on a daily basis. That's okay, because you're better than me, because I have to ask my viewers for a certain kind of contribution to pay my fucking bills this week, right? But... You can't address criticism against yourself. That's off limits. But let's make fun of Phil for not having enough money this week to pay his bills again. That's funny, right? You're a scumbag. You're, you're a grade A example of a fucking scumbag on this internet that does not deserve the level of popularity you have because you're a fucking degenerate. You're fucked up that you would say shit like that. And then you won't even bother addressing criticism. Do I think it was okay for DSP <clears throat> to take the video down? I didn't take it down. It's a tough one because... It's a tough one. Thing. I'm 99.9%. .9%. I didn't get to watch the whole thing. This is why I'm... That's why I'm hesitant. Um, I don't give a shit. There's things that are said about me out there all the fucking time. I'm sure some of you know who, who, what you see out there. That I'm just like, I'm not even going to waste my time flagging it. I, I don't care. I, I don't really fucking care. But if there, I didn't watch the whole thing. If there was something truly disparaging in there that was I don't even know what's in there. I don't watch true. them anymore. But th here's the truth. The moment that Secret Limited made the video that was about the, the escort, literally 0% facts. Like, none of it was factual and presented it as fact. Then, when it was disproven that the whole thing was false, did not say that, did not take down the video, but instead made fun of my then girlfriend and now wife, that was it. That person is a piece of living shit and does not deserve any time or attention. I will never watch a video from that person. Not a, a thing that's said out of that person's video content could ever be trusted. They literally didn't care that something they put out about me that was negative was proven to be false. So why would you ever trust a word they ever have to say again, right? But he's watching it. Oh, this is cool. Let's watch it, right? He's a fucking idiot. Then yes. If it was just him being butthurt <clears throat> because he don't, doesn't want anyone to have the lulls in, at his expense, even though he's a public figure, then no, he had zero right to. So it all depends. What the hell's that? Why'd you play that? 
Why did you play that sound? No. It had nothing to do with anything you said. <laughs> Woo! That's like a risky, risque sound you play at the Jerry Springer show when something risque is happening or when fucking two people are kissing on fucking Saved by the Bell. That's not even in context of when you would play it, you fucking buffoon. Yikes, you're dumb. <laughs> the shit is off. I think you meant shirt, but I like that you said shit. Why are you... Why are you playing that sound effect? It's not in reference. Okay, so if, if it's all facts, it's all facts. I didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, Why is it okay for Camelot to take down a compilation of him crying? I knew it. <clears throat> no. I know, the vi I know what you're talking about with Camelot, and that person could fuck themselves to hell. And if you're him, you could also fuck yourself to hell, too. <laughs> so, I have no idea what that's about. That's a little bit different, and you fucking know it. He just all he says is this is different, and you know it. But then he doesn't justify what he's saying. He just says the same thing over and over. Well, thank you for your money, fool. Oh wait, that's different than thanks for the money, dummy. Thank you for your money, fool. But that but that didn't wasn't memeable like mine, right? So, I really appreciate the support. And to everyone out here, obviously context is key. If you're supporting the show, I appreciate it. If you're trying to be a fire starter, I don't care if you donate $500, I will still call you an asshole. <laughs> it's still not in context. What are you playing the sound for? It's not in context of anything. Oh my God. Is that it? Oh yeah. Who struck who rich and just got here? Camelot has been dealing with issues. Um, and from what I've seen, he has used YouTube system accordingly to deal with the issues. And these people could fucking... AKA abusing the copyright system. Again, I see this. This is one I cannot comment on. I have no idea what the context of this is. I guess this video is trying to portray it that Rich is sticking up for Camelot for using false copyright takedowns to defend himself because someone was putting up a compilation of this person crying and he feels that's okay. But if it's fair use, it's not. In my opinion cry about it all day and the want law's to. opinion <clears throat> uh so there you go bo rock send this video to wings and dsp well now i've seen it that's the first time i've seen it honestly i don't care about the the not the actual thing oh he's being a hypocrite or whatever like it's obvious he's never going to address criticism against himself right because like he said, this would be, it's like walking into the shooting gallery. I've said it too. Why would you put yourself into the line of fire? On my streams, I'm not going to open up one of these fucking insane videos from these people that makes them on a, on a, you know, so often about me and bring it up because what's the point? With these people, here's the thing. You give them the inch, they take the mile. So, okay, I just proved this or I address this. Let's bring up 40 other things. And now Phil can no longer make content that's worth a moment of anyone's time because all he can do is sit there and address nonsense people keep making up about him constantly the reason they do is because they want the attention they realize they can get the clickbait attention on youtube and get popularity off of it so the moment you address it and you bring it up and you entertain it they've won okay that much i can understand i understand why rich maybe doesn't want to watch the negative shit about him but then why watch negative shit about other people <clears throat> right again it's like he wants to throw the rocks but he lives in the glass house and at any moment, if anyone throws the rock at him, the whole house could cave in. So why are you throwing rocks at other people's houses, you fucking idiot, right? If you're someone who is going to make a living bringing down others around you, which is what you've been doing, obviously, then have the, be a man enough to fucking do it yourself to yourself and defend yourself, okay? Do it. Don't be a coward. Don't be a pussy. Don't say everyone else can be attacked but me. I don't have to address shit. No, you do. If you're going to do this negative shit about other people, you also have to do it to yourself or at least, you know, to some extent, defend this shit against yourself. You are an insane hypocrite. The fact you don't understand that means you have no morality. You, you are missing a key piece of being an empathetic and sympathetic human. And you should seek psychi psychiatric help if you don't understand that. You really should. Like, you should talk to a professional about it because you're fucked in the head. You're one step away from being a sociopath. Okay. Oh, we got another video, though. There's one more, all right? And this next one, um, 
I don't know if it's gonna just pop up. I was trying to find it and I couldn't get it to come up. Um, it was like Review Tech, Review Tech and his wife or something like that. I have to find it. Review Tech. Shit. What if I type in just wife? Review Tech wife. No. Speak now. No, that's not what I wanted. Here it is. He has an argument with his wife on a live stream. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> now, I've had embarrassing moments on my live stream. Let's not be stupid here. Again, this is, is it hypocritical? I mean, I've probably had the most embarrassing moment possible. I don't think anyone could argue. Like, how could you be more embarrassing than what happened to me? But I've never had a significant other or, or, or family member walk onto my stream and give me any kind of a diatribe or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm curious what this is going to be. Here we go. When you're just going on and on and on about it, and then you say something like, Morgan Webb and, and Olivia Munn were not there for you to look. No. What? What happened? Did you get my text? No. Did you get my text? She's been screaming since she you left. Uh, you can't do this, Rick. She's been screaming since you left. You can't do this, Rich. Zachary keeps calling. She is going crazy, the baby. Make you call me. Zach Zachary, maybe it's his ex-wife keeps calling. She's going crazy with the baby. No, no, I did not. You gotta put her to sleep first, then do it. I can't because then they got up at four in the morning. But Rich, you been doing it. You. All right, I can't. I'm literally in the middle. I can't right now. She's going nuts. Okay, I can't right now. I can't do it. So that's it that doesn't sound like his wife. That sounds like another family member is yelling at him, saying he was supposed to put his baby to sleep, and he didn't. And now the baby is awake screaming, and he went on stream without the baby going to sleep first. And so they're bursting into his stream, basically saying, "Hey, you know why didn't you put the baby to sleep before you started your work?" Because, and, and he says something about, I can't because they'll be up at four in the morning. That I don't understand. I'm live right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know, but I don't know what to say. He texted you. I texted you. Is someone's gonna... He texted you. I texted you. Who is he? I have to take her from now. Now, now this, this is going to be all over the internet now. Thank you. Trouble in paradise. I thought... We were going to get a Bill O'Reilly will do it live moment there for a second. Oh no, we're just going to end up on live stream fails. <clears throat> no, it's, no, all, it's right. all right. Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. it. <laughs> I, got I got people, people watching, watching it, man. It's, it's not, not that, that they're, they're alone. alone. Huh? The rich haters are going to clip that? I don't know. Of course, of course they're, they're going to clip. Who gives a fuck they're going to clip that? I don't care. care. But, but I, I, I wish, wish people would know, know not, not to. to. Do you see my point about how bad his setup looks? His entire background behind him is reflected lights. It looks like shit. Why? You don't need those two monitors there. Get them the fuck out of there. No. no. It, it's, 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 she's given him, him, she's given him, him a, a tough, tough time going to sleep. What? The other two are, are, are asleep. See, I'm... I don't know Rich. I don't know his family situation. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this clip. The first clip that I reacted to, at least I have context. Like, I can understand what he's talking about. I have no idea what this is about. I'm so confused. But it's got to be embarrassing to have someone storm in like that. What was I going to say? Is... Can I get a, get a cluck, cluck for starting, for starting my, my new PC? Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> Might as well cancel yeah, this stream because you ain't going to get anything done now. My children are watched. It's not that I'm... And I was with them all day. You know? It's not that... Here, I'll make a... I'm going to go on pause for like two minutes. And Axel, how are you? And I'll be back in like two minutes. So let me just find out what's going on. So you're quieting down. 
and I almost don't know if I should go down there. But literally, like two minutes here. <laughs> what is going on? This is just bizarro. Yeah, look, two years ago, I argued with his ex-wife. But here's the thing: is it that was that didn't sound like his ex-wife? That sounded like another family member, like his mother or someone else. That did not sound like an ex-wife talking. I don't know. Weird, right? This is odd. Now, oh shit. Oh, son of a just bitch. Going fucked up. Hold on, I fucked up. If I didn't stop to go. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> now, here's how this would have worked. <laughs> if I didn't stop to go check, she would have kept screaming. She, luckily where my kid's bed is, I could look without them seeing me and she was just starting to doze and she didn't see me. So that's, I was like, all right. Because if she was still screaming, I would have probably had to go. Uh, Again, I don't understand his situation. This is very weird that somehow it intruded on his streaming life. I guess his kids live in the house with him where he streams, but he has an ex-wife who's there too. What? I, I don't know. I don't. The thing is about this, I don't care. Like, this is the least interesting thing to me. I really don't give a shit about this situation. This is his own personal stuff going on. And the fact that this got aired on the internet is unfortunate. And I don't get it, nor do I care to get it. I care about the things this guy says and does about me, the, the hypocr hypocrisy there. I do not give a shit about this at all. And I don't think we're going to figure it out by the end of the video she, either. She's the good one, and it's her brothers that fight. I, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, isn't that crazy, though? Back to what I was saying, that we're at a point. Um, yeah. I, d I just don't like any of my personal stuff. No I shit. I to have people like, hey, if you have something to ask me. I, like, I make sure people are, obviously, I have my phone on me, and God forbid there's some kind of emergency. My daughter not wanting to go to sleep, I don't really, when there's three able-bodied adults around here, is not an emergency. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Again, I, I mean, he should have just shut up about it. Literally, he should have just shut up about it and been like, all right, let's move on. But now he's saying things that are just burying him because now he sounds terrible. Oh, me putting my daughter to sleep, that's nothing. There's three other people in the house who could take care of my daughter. You're the dad. But there's three other people in the house who could take care of my daughter. You're the dad. But there's three other people in the house that could take care of my daughter. Like, <laughs> uh, He should have just kept his mouth shut. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I want her to go to sleep, but... Um, no, so the Carolina Reaper jerky, I just got it, I think, yesterday. It's in a package in my room next to all the Wii U stuff. I'm still waiting for a couple things on that Wii U video. That video should be... Rich, is your personal life? This is work. We understand nothing needs to be said about it. Yeah, you know, well, avid tuber, you're a sound-minded human being, but it, it, which, thank you for being that. Um, nah, Rich, that's personal life. This is your work, dude. A lot of people don't either don't know how to differentiate the two and use it against me or don't understand it. Not a lot, but there's, you, you know, the dedicated portion that are sexually frustrated and should probably get flashlights. Sure. <laughs> okay, if you say so. That's Here. it? Oh, wait, no. Here. Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this all he does all day, every day? He's watching my pre-stream podcast. Oh my, <laughs> my God. Yo, does he do any content? Or does he just watch me all day? Does he literally stalk me all day? Really? All right, here's what we're going to do. All right? Rich is going to turn on his stream. I'm going to turn on my stream. And we're just going to stare at each other over the internet. We're going to have an internet fucking staring match two morons like this i'm watching you no i I'm, I'm not gonna flinch because then i have to make some content no well, i'm gonna watch you so i don't have to make any content we're gonna stare like this dude. oh my god get a fucking life dude really just get a life stop watching my shit oh goes on to make fun of dsp
Oh, what do you use 10 times now. worse? Zero self awareness. Now I finally realized to pick up my phone, and now I get a message saying that they're asleep. Well, thank you. Oh my god. I can't believe he watched my shit again. Okay. So allow me to end this, all right, like this. Okay, first of all, the reason I did this is because people wanted to apparently pay me to see me react to some of this shit. In reality, I actually don't think this is very bad at all. These videos were just representative of how he acts. But this is how I know he acts. People tell me this all the time. They're like, are you aware that Rich literally just sits there and watches defamatory shit about you or just watches you back and just sits there and makes fun of you, calls you an e-beggar, calls that. Yes, Rich, I'm, we're all aware that you do this. This is, you know, These videos are not defamatory about you. What they're doing is they're reiterating your shortcomings, okay? How does it feel to watch someone watch that? Does it feel good to be called a hypocrite because you are, to, to be told that you're a scumbag because you make fun of me and my life because I have to actually ask my viewers for active contributions to pay my bills while you don't have to do that because you make more money because you suck cucumbers and shove cocks up your ass or whatever the hell it is you do on your stream. Uh, does it make you feel like a better person or a bigger man than me or you're better than me? Because if that was the case, then, then why else would you be making fun of me on a daily basis, right? Obviously, you think you're better than me. You think that you, you make better content. You, you're, you have more money than me. You're a better person than me. Good for you. Good for you, okay? I, I, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to sit here and do this shit on my own stream. Someone wanted me to do it for a private React video. I'll do it. But I'm not going to sit here and, and glorify negativity against someone. But... You know, you are one of the worst hypocrites I've ever met. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know you know what I mean because what it is is, like I said, you have either a skewed sense of morality or you just have none or you literally ignore it on purpose because you realize being a moral person does not pay your bills and you need your bills to be paid. Now, you got kids and shit, right? I get that. You got a responsibility to, to, to you know, <clears throat> raise money, raise a family and all of that. You know, I have that too. I mean, I have any kids, but I got a family. I have a wife. I have a, you know cat, a home, a mortgage, all these financial responsibilities around me, right, as well, just like you, and uh, yeah, I'm not as popular as you, and I do have to ask my viewers for particular kinds of support on certain days, there's been times when something comes out of nowhere I'm not expecting, and I literally have to say, hey guys, can you help me out today, or I, I will be behind on shit this week, you know, it doesn't make me feel good, it makes me feel like shit, I've said this to my viewers many times, I've said, um, I wish I could never mention money on my streams. Take, take a look back. I never used to ha until I had to. And why did I have to? Because of years of, of abuse and fucked up things people did to my channel that made it less profitable to do what I do for a living and bad choices that I've made as well, you know, for whatever reason. But I don't want to sit there and talk about it all day. And the fact that you sit there and you make fun of that, the fact that you don't understand that that's not something that I enjoy doing, right? That, you know, I enjoy making the content. I enjoy the interactions. Why don't you watch an Earthbound stream that I just did today? But the vast majority of the three hours was genuine enjoyment with my viewing audience, talking about the lore of the game, how it plays, other things, and very little mentions of any kind of income or anything like that. Maybe once or twice I mentioned, oh, we're near a tips goal or whatever. And that's it. Because what you do is you focus on the negative. You focus on those moments, those negative moments. You watch the montages of those weak moments that have to exist. I call It's the lesser of two evils. It's either I do it or I don't. I, I lose everything. So should I just lose everything? So I, you, should I, you, you can act like, you know, I'm not a beggar anymore on the internet. Dude, you're, you're just a scumbag. Like, really, you're just, the more I learn about you, the, the, the less and less I ever want to hear about you. You are really a bad person. And the moment that you stop talking about me and you move on to doing something else creative with your life, the better. But the thing is, you don't care. I already gave you many chances, you know. Um, it's pretty fucked up the kind of guy you are. Uh, I wish that you would better yourself. You don't care, obviously. Um, I mean, shit, you don't care about yourself when you take your shirt off, when you suck cucumbers, when you kiss chickens, with your monitors that reflect the fucking lighting back in your viewer's eyes, with your fucking bedroom lamp in the background. If you don't care about that shit, you're probably not going to care about who you hurt to make a buck either, you know? So, it is what it is. I guess we continue to be at odds, but I the only reason I'm doing this is because someone specifically requested it. 
Um, I'm sure you'll probably do your own React to it to make more cheap money off of zero effort, um, which is what you do all day, apparently. Uh, good for you. Next time you're restreaming me, let me know. That way I can restream you at the same time and we can sit there and have a staring match on the fucking internet. Sound good? But anyway, to the anonymous person, who's probably not very anonymous at this point, who paid me to do these reacts, there you go. Pretty honest, huh? I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.